How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Nick and welcome to Game Anatomy. This is a new series that I'm starting out that I'm going to use to talk about game concepts and theories and ideas and just generate interesting conversation about games that I'm very interested in and see what other people have to think. It, you don't have to agree with my opinion. These are just my opinions on the games and why I'm interested in them. Because every game developer has a conscious decision when they put in an element into a game, when they design a game in a certain way, when they start out creating a game. They have these conscious decisions and whether it be for good or for ill, it's their decision when they first start developing the game or in development of the game to incorporate these elements. And I believe that whether they are for good or bad of the overall game quality, they should still be talked about and looked into and why they still influence you know, future games and future game development because some of these ideas are just genius. Alright, so this first video is going to be on the topic of grinding. Grinding is very interesting to me, so let's get right into it. So grinding is a, actually a result of needing to level because you run into a enemy that's way stronger than you can handle or a boss is way stronger than you can handle. So it's like, holy shit, how am I going to deal with this? There's a big old guy in my way and I can't beat them. So there's a level disparity where you need to close that gap. So as a result, you need to go out of your way and level. Now I'm going to take... A big example from a game, this is actually something that I've done and I'm getting right into it now. So here's a game, if you recognize it, it's Dark Souls. So let's just take a look at this scenario. You're, you're feeling good, you did the tutorial, you beat a couple big enemies and stuff so far. Who's that? There's a Dark Knight guy that's standing there, I could probably beat him. Holy shit, he took a lot of health. Oh, run away, run away. Gotta get out of here, I can... Alright, alright, maybe heal a little bit. I got him on the ropes though. And... I'm dead. Whoa. I, I just I just beat the I just beat the first areas of the game and I'm already dead? What is this shit? So then this coming up is actually a path. This is what I did when I originally played Dark Souls is I started grinding in this area where I needed to kill off these skeletons in this this monotonous order that I came up with and I just went back and forth between here and the bonfire to level up my stats to get to the point that I was actually able to defeat the Dark Knight. And there was there was lots of problems as this game is very difficult and it, it this game is the embodiment of a game you need to be skilled at. It where levels actually don't make as big a difference as they do in other games. You don't get as huge stat boosts as you do in other games but this is the exact path that I took over and over again for maybe an hour just because I couldn't beat the Dark Knight because I was thinking you know he's probably guarding this incredible treasure he's probably guarding this great things and you can actually get great loot from him too when you go and play the game so here we are the tiny level increases very minimal it's you know what's the point and you're doing this over and over on the bright side though it did get me better a little bit at the skill of the game this is still fairly early on in the game and I actually was able to get better at parrying and do different tasks in the game so that actually increased my skill but almost regardless of whether or not my skill got any better in these games it almost doesn't change the fact that having to spend all this extra time grinding is no matter what, you're putting more time into the game, whether it's to gain stats for your skill, to get better at the game, if it's more of an action game. But even in the place of traditional RPGs, you're just, it, it's just literal to the word, it's a grind. You have to put countless hours sometimes. That's the most ridiculous part. I remember having to spend hours on games as a kid because I wasn't able to figure out the right way to beat bosses or the right tactics. So you have to put several hours into this. But before I get into any of that much more, I'm going to take you back to the very minimal, the very basic. If you know nothing about these concepts, then I'm just going to give you a brief introduction. This is what happened. 
So here we are at the basics of leveling. So in place in the game is a system where you start out, and this is the basic leveling system, you have a level 1 character. You then are able to kill a bunch of monsters, I use slimes for this example, so you kill them, and then numbers happen, the magic numbers behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, that cause you to level up. So when you level up, your character gets stronger, stats increase, and eventually, if you wait it out long enough, you're able to get to a level 99 character that makes your previous character look like a complete wuss. Now the basics of grinding are much different. They are when you get put in place where you have to kill a million enemies. Just look at all those slimes. You have to kill hundreds of enemies. And that's the annoying part when you gotta kill so many guys. So then we get to the point of it all. This is the whole point for everything you've done up until this point. This is the sum of all the experience that you've gained throughout the entire game. You put it into the different systems that are put in place in different games. Because there are many, many different systems in several different games. I can't even name all the different systems. There's skill trees. There's, there's skill points. There's a any different game you play from Diablo to Borderlands, to Final Fantasy, a any different game you play will have a different skill tree, different setup, different way to level, different ways to become overpowered, because that's the thing, there's also ways of leveling, and the more opportunities they allow for you to level up in a different game, there's more chances that one way or another will become overpowered. And many of these different games, they don't they aren't able to cater to every point in the game so these different skill trees are what determine how you want to build your character what way you want to build them you can build uh, defensively you can build uh, offensively you you can uh, make them a very utility-esque character now it should also be noted that there is also one idea that it's very difficult for a game to capture it's it's very challenging for a developer to convey this idea and what it is is that as you're playing a game you find ways to relate to your character and you project yourself into that character and you actually find yourself growing or at least it gives you the illusion that you're growing with your character so you create more relationships and you put more investments into that game and that's very important for a game developer to capture. And if they're able to capture that, they hold your attention for longer. And that's also why character creation is very important in games nowadays. Because then you can create your character your way. You can project them how you want to project them. Then this is where that feeling of great accomplishment comes from when you're playing a game. Where you're able to defeat a giant beast. Where you're able to defeat something more magnificent than is able to appear in reality that's why games are incredible and very powerful because when you do something great it's usually a feat you're not able to accomplish in real life obviously so being able to defeat these creatures these monsters it, like it gives you a sense of accomplishment and if the fight is gratifying enough it just gives it just adds to that sense of accomplishment and makes you feel better if it's a difficult fight that you're able, able to overcome then you feel more gratifying. The problem is that if you're grinding and you're just putting this time and your just stats are getting too high, and then you finally beat them that way, it do you don't get that same sense of accomplishment. You don't get the same growth that you get if you're able to just find other ways to overcome the enemy. Okay, now I have just a few examples, now that I'm through all that, of games that I actually have a lot of experience with. Um, I've actually been playing these games more recently. Uh, first one is Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. Uh, this is one that I played as a kid that I'm actually trying to go back and play on my own. This is my own, This was gameplay I had on my own time where I was uh, trying to beat the first dungeon. And I'm actually surprised that as a kid... I was able to make it so far because this game was very difficult for all the Zelda games. It, it made a break from the traditional Zelda game and you actually have levels put in place. So you need to gain the levels and stats to be able to get stronger. Which was very, very different and I'm surprised that I made it to the final dungeon when I was, what, 10 years old. And the other game that I have an example of is 
uh, Rogue Legacy. Now, this game is very different from some of the other games I've been talking about. It's a roguelike game, and the purpose of this game is that you're actually meant to die. So you go through the game and you collect gold, and then when you die, and I played this game on my channel, uh, I, I intend to someday eventually finish it, but you're in t meant to die, and in some videos I made death counters and death timers and stuff, and just every time I died, I put it up on the screen, numbered it, and so that made up you know, the majority of my content on those videos. But it was a very different game, and I enjoyed it. But it was very different in the fact that you had to die to gain experience. Alright, now that's that's basically it. That's all I have to talk about. I'm really interested to hear what other people thought about what I had to say. It was mostly me just rambling for the past little bit. But I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. What is What are some experience you had with grinding? Because I know I didn't hit everything in this video. So with that, if you have anything else to say, let me know in the comments down below. Any... Uh, comments this is the first time for me to do this so it was very very experimental I hope that my next ones are better and I do have more ideas for future videos I'll be posting them when they're ready but for now uh, thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one